uh, in this problem of camel case uh, it says that Alice uh, wrote a sequence of words in camel case as a string of letters okay having the following properties it is a concatenation of one or more words consisting of English letters all letters in the first word are lowercase for each of the subsequent words the first letter is uppercase and the rest of the letters are lowercase given the input s yes, print the number of words in s yes on a new line so generally what happens is like when you talk about number of words we say that the words are separated with the spaces but here the words are not separated with the spaces instead what happens is like um, for the first word all the characters are in lower case starting from the second word onwards the first character will be upper case okay and followed by lower case characters right now uh, mm. your job is to find out the number of words one simple way to do it is we can just count the number of upper case characters and then just add one to it because the first word will not have any uppercase uh, characters right so we need to just count the number of uppercase characters and then just add one to it then you will get to know the number of words right a simple example here the two uppercase alphabets out here and then okay the result what is expected is three right now let us try to see some other input out here in a c save save is one word change is the second word in the third word b fourth word editor right save changes in the editor we can just see we have four uppercase alphabets and it's a five word okay sentence fine okay now uh let us try to read the code out here it's okay again i don't want to get into this lengthy code which has uh, pointers and all those things right let me just remove this the only thing which is required for me is i do require stdio.h to read the strings and all uh then i do require this c type dot h because c type dot h basically gives me this uh, functions is upper now once uh you are done with that right then first let us try to read the string and before that we need to declare the string and while declaring the string we need to know what should be the length what should be declared so let us try to go and check out the length can be up to 10 power 5 right so we need to create a string large enough that it can hold the entire string so i would like to create character array right and after that we need to read it so okay i don't want to print any uh, message to enter the input and all i can directly go ahead with the reading and since the, it does not contain any space i can just read it in a simple fashion like this right after i read this i can just traverse for int i equal to zero right I can do it in two ways to keep track of number of times the loop should repeat. I can say i less than or equal to, or you can say less than str len of uh, s. This is one way of doing it. Okay. The other way of doing it is uh, we can just check out for the null character. Okay. The yellow line out here because I have not included uh, string dot h the other way of doing out uh, this is i can just check out that have we reached a null character so i can just check out if s of i if it is not equal to null character keep repeating once it is encountered null character then stop right this will be much more efficient when compared to string length because in string length what happens in a, in every iteration it tries to calculate the length again and again right okay now i need to uh, count the number of uppercase so i'll just try to say c here I just try to see if s of i equal to equal to right all is upper s of i right if it returns true meaning if it is not equal to zero okay please do remember it returns zero if it's false it returns uh, non-zero if it is true don't consider that it returns one right then i'd like to update this c plus plus and finally we need to print a value which is uh, c plus one we need to print a value which is c plus one okay so we'll try to compile this particular program and then run this okay your output is some garbage okay value some large value the only reason is we have not initialized this c out here so make sure that you initialize this c here 
right compile this program now right so we have passed the sample test case we'll try to also okay pass this all the test cases here right okay so this mm -hmm. is a simple task to count the number of upper cases then just add one to it and that is the number of words what we have right 